What's up everybody, it's me Kevin Dew. Welcome to my video about G-Code. G-Code has been introduced in the 1950s and it's still used today with many CNC machines or as we all know 3D printers. These devices are, to be honest, quite dumb because they just work out one statement after another without any real logic behind. That's because the usual form of the human readable numeric control language has no real implementation of loops or queries. It's really just a list of statements to fulfill. The logic is outsourced to the PC, or in our case, to a slicer software like Cura. Although the slicing process itself is quite complex, G-code is definitely not. Follow me along with some simple G-code movements. To write your own G-code file, you don't need to be a professional. Just plug in the SD card from the 3D printer and create a new file on it. I call it Kavantus script. Important is the extension .gcode. Open up the file in any text editor you like. I use Atom and here you have enough space to write down the printer's actions and movements. To start off, G28 aka home all suits best. Um, after semicolons, until the end of the line, there is space for comments, which will be ignored. Then I want to use metrical units, aka millimeters. If you want to use inches, just say G20 here. I also want to use the absolute positioning system. I will explain the difference in a second. To avoid scratching the build plate with our own unprofessional tries, I will raise the C-axis by 5mm, which works with the G1 aka move command. I will just say here C5 with a feed rate of 3000, 3000 mm per minute, which scales down to 50mm a second. Imagine that the C-axis is at 10 and this command is executed with absolute positioning. The C-axis will move down to 5 but with relative positioning it will move up to 15, so keep in mind the difference. My goal of this simple file is to move the printhead to the very center of the build blade, at least in the X and Y space. To achieve this you need to know the absolute size of the build blade, which is 220 times 220 millimeters in my case. Logically the center is at X110 and Y110. The feed rate is taken from above. To conclude the file I will say M84 for shutting down the motors. Ok, let's run this file. As you can see on the image, there is an offset on both the X and the Y axis from the real center I've marked on the build plate. To compensate this offset, we need to add another line of code. The G92 command allows you to overwrite the internal position, but not moving the printer. It's very easy. After measuring out the offset, I found out that on the X axis it's minus 18, so I need to compensate it with plus 18. On the y axis it's minus 6, so I need to compensate it with 6. Ok, you are free to expand as you want. As you can see, here I am trying to draw a 20x20 20 20 square around the center with using the relative positioning, because it's a lot easier. Because of multiple manufacturers using different implementations of G-code, it can be quite hard to find the necessary one, if it's not something as easy as move. A really useful list of G-code used in 3D printing with different manufacturers 
can be found on a Rap Rap Wiki. The link is below in the description. I really recommend checking it out. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week.